Whipple's disease is a rare infection that primarily affects the gastrointestinal system. This video will cover its causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment options, providing medical professionals with a comprehensive understanding of the condition. Whipple's disease is caused by the bacterium Trophorema whippley. This bacterium mainly resides in soil, sewage, and contaminated water sources, although transmission routes are still not fully understood. It is believed that the bacterium is acquired through oral ingestion, possibly via contaminated food or water. Whipple's disease is relatively rare, with an estimated incidence of approximately 1 in 1 million individuals. It predominantly affects middle-aged Caucasian males, although cases have been reported in individuals of all age groups and races. The reason behind this male predominance remains unknown. After oral ingestion, Trophorema whippley bacteria invade the small intestine, where they encounter cells of the intestinal epithelium. The exact mechanisms by which the bacteria cross the intestinal barrier are not fully understood, but it is believed to involve both passive and active means of invasion. Upon entering the intestinal epithelial cells, Trophorema whippley undergoes intracellular multiplication and forms phagolysosomes, which are characteristic of the infection. These phagolysosomes contain undigested materials, including lipids and carbohydrates, giving rise to the classical foamy macrophages that can be observed in affected tissues. The multiplication and persistence of Trophorema whippley within macrophages lead to widespread inflammation and subsequent malabsorption in various organs, including the gastrointestinal tract, lymph nodes, heart, joints, and central nervous system. Diagnosing Whipple's disease requires a combination of laboratory tests. Stool samples are analyzed using PCR techniques to detect Trophorema whippley DNA, but it is not enough for a definitive diagnosis. Additional tests include endoscopy, biopsy, periodic acid shift staining, electron microscopy, and specific immunohistochemical staining. Whipple's disease has a wide range of symptoms, including weight loss, malabsorption, diarrhea, abdominal pain, bloating, joint pain, fevers, night sweats, lymphadenopathy, memory loss, confusion, and ophthalmoplegia. Diagnosis is based on clinical symptoms, histopathological findings, and immunohistochemical staining for Trophorema whippley. Endoscopy is essential in diagnosing Whipple's disease. Common findings include edema, erythema, and villus blunting in the small intestine. Biopsies confirm the presence of foamy macrophages and Trophorema whippley. Radiological imaging helps assess extraintestinal involvement and CNS manifestations. Histopathological examination is crucial for diagnosing Whipple's disease. Biopsies from the intestine, lymph nodes, or affected organs are obtained during procedures such as endoscopy or laparoscopy. Foamy macrophages with PA positive material, infiltrating the gastrointestinal layers, are characteristic. Immunohistochemical staining confirms Trophorema whippley presence, distinguishing it from similar disorders. Electron microscopy can provide additional confirmation. In the treatment of Whipple's disease, antibiotics are used to eliminate the bacteria and the choice of antibiotics and duration depend on the severity of the disease. Treatment may include 4-ceftriaxone or penicillin G, along with oral trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole or doxycycline. Treatment usually lasts for 12 to 18 months and close monitoring is required. Additional therapies may be needed for neurological involvement. Patient compliance and follow-up appointments are important. Whipple's disease can affect organs other than the gastrointestinal system, requiring specific management strategies. Joint involvement can cause pain and swelling, managed with NSAIDs or corticosteroids. Neurological symptoms may require a multidisciplinary approach, involving corticosteroids, antibiotics, and therapy. Individualized care and collaboration among healthcare specialties are essential. Treatment of Whipple's disease can lead to complications like malabsorption and relapses. Nutritional support, monitoring, and prompt treatment initiation are vital. Severe complications, although rare, can occur, necessitating early diagnosis, treatment, and monitoring. The clinical presentation of Whipple's disease often overlaps with other gastrointestinal disorders, necessitating a thorough differential diagnosis to differentiate it from similar conditions. Maladaptive responses to other gastrointestinal disorders, such as celiac disease or inflammatory bowel disease, can mimic the symptoms of Whipple's disease. However, the characteristic histopathological findings of Whipple's disease, including foamy macrophages and positive Trophorema whippley staining, allow for its distinction. Infectious etiologies, such as tuberculosis or Mycobacterium avium complex, MAC, infection, can present with similar symptoms. Appropriate microbiological cultures and staining techniques can aid in ruling out these infectious causes. Collecting a detailed history, conducting physical examinations, 
and performing appropriate diagnostic tests are vital in reaching an accurate diagnosis and differentiating Whipple's disease from other gastrointestinal disorders. Genetic factors are thought to contribute to an individual's susceptibility to Whipple's disease. Although rare, familial cases of Whipple's disease have been reported, suggesting a genetic predisposition. Studies have identified potential genetic factors associated with increased susceptibility to Whipple's disease, including variations in genes involved in the immune system. Variants of the IRF4 gene and the HLA-DQ2-DQ8 genes, commonly associated with autoimmune diseases, have been implicated. These genetic factors may influence an individual's immune response to Trophorema Whipple infection, leading to an increased risk of developing Whipple's disease. Further research is necessary to fully understand the complex interplay between genetics and the pathogenesis of Whipple's disease. Future research on Whipple's disease aims to improve treatment and management. Areas of interest include understanding how the bacteria evades the immune system, developing more accurate diagnostic techniques, exploring alternative antibiotic regimens, and investigating the use of immunomodulatory agents. In conclusion, Whipple's disease is a rare gastrointestinal disorder caused by the bacterium Trophorema whippoli. Understanding its etiology, clinical features, diagnostic techniques, and treatment options is crucial for effective management. Continued research is needed to improve patient care.